Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha K Geek XX Chic, and we are back with another reaction to Hannah. I know it has been a minute since I reacted to this series, but it was giving me a lot of trouble as far as getting blocked when I was putting these ones up. You know, that's just the way it goes sometimes in some of these shows. Some of them are really cooperative, other ones you kind of have to go through a little bit of trial and tribulation, and so unfortunately I just kind of decided for my own mental space to kind of put my reactions to this show on pause for a while and just focus on the other series that I was doing and kind of get them done. And now that Motherland is pretty much finished now, I can move on to this series as well as, you know, all the other ones that I'll be kind of rolling into slowly. So I'm really, really sorry for those who've been waiting on reactions for this show. I know it's been like well over a month, but I just kind of needed to just focus on getting reactions out the door that I knew were not going to immediately end up being blocked and having to go through that whole procedure because it's just not a lot of fun to put all that work and, you know, the editing and especially into a video and then not have it be able to be viewed for some time while they kind of work it all out. So apologies. Thank you so much for those who are, who have been waiting. I know a few of you have been asking for it. So here it is. And for those of you who don't know, I do have a Patreon channel. I will be linking that below. I've had it for a while, but it definitely went to bed for a while because again, I just had a lot going on earlier this year and last year. So I'm going to start using it again for this particular series just to kind of, you know, hopefully offset some of the blockage. And um, I will kind of be moving things onto YouTube eventually, but these episodes will always be here, or sorry, available on Patreon first, and then I will be releasing them to YouTube later. Into this reaction, we're now on to episode three, which is called City. She's back on her own again. She's trying to head to Berlin because this is where she's supposed to meet her father and rendezvous with him to execute whatever plan that they've been pretty much planning since before she even knew what the word plan meant. All right, without any more ado, let's get into this episode right about now. These are the most miserable looking apartments I've ever seen. They look like a prison. Hey, Yeah, don't put your hands on anybody, sir. Oh, I knew he was going to pull a knife. I just knew it. <laughs> you want to keep fighting, sir? The family? You tell them you were coming to Berlin? No. Lies. I told them I'd even answer them, like you said. I know. The poor girl hasn't eaten in three days. She was eating out of the garbage. You could have gotten her to go box or something. Her name's Elsa, really? Do you want to blend a storm in? Hotel, what do you know of hotels? Stay there one in Spain, you get Elsa. No wonder that man found me. Be here because it's safe. See, I understand what she's going through here because I've been through that my own self. Like, once you've stayed in a nice hotel and felt them Egyptian cotton sheets and that soft mattress, you can't go back to no threadbare sleeping on the floor. You rather go right. Mm -mm. I feel you, girl. How do you know we get it on? When I told someone she was coming to bed. Are you sure? Yep. She said she didn't, but she lied. Mm, he knows you too well, girl. Yeah, it doesn't like being left out. She's used to being your only. Okay. He does not look okay. My guy is glistening like a glazed donut. Hannah girl, I need you to pay attention. I don't want you to be in your feelings right now, okay? Really? Is this the right time to have the radio on with your supersonic, super powered hearing? Okay. You know what I'm saying? You sitting here having a whole rave up in here like there's an op going on right now. <sighs> run, my mind, run! Woo, almost left your pokey ass behind. Oh my God, you got her in a stick ship, poor baby. Poor Hannah's be sleeping in all these, like, 
garbage dumps with beds on the floor and here's this bad woman here who gets to stay in like a five star resort. Life ain't fair. You say that with as much excitement as most people talk about taxes. What I do? Yeah, you can't just do the dismiss thing anymore. She she's getting big now, sir. Just go to sleep. But you have to go to sleep. It's a difficult thing because on the one hand, it is Eric's story to tell, but he can't just keep an inquisitive teenager in the dark forever. Like, if you don't answer, she gonna make assumptions, you know? I thought that I was chasing him. But she's lured me here. I wanted me to come. Oh, look at you catching up! Es ist nicht das Gleiche. Und das weißt du auch. Niemand fährt wie du. Für wen hast du dich eigentlich? Hierher zu kommen. You're asking him to choose your family over his, dude. That's a lot. Money, money, money. Facts. He did? But I was not heard. I don't know. I'm just agreeing like I know this. <laughs> no more no, 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 no. fun. No, 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 no. I don't forget anyone. You have my number. That's fair. More than you deserve in the sounds of things, but fair. As a father, it's probably the only reason he's doing it, because he knows what it's like to have kids. Yeah, she didn't play as a child. She had to murder things. Oh God, okay. When we said attack, we didn't quite mean that. Ooh, he looks haunted. Oh wow, we got haunted right into a flashback. Damn. Can I have a charity? <laughs> no, no, not like that. I saw you here last week. Ah, uh, he recruited pregnant women. Outside. Get it. 10, 15 minutes. It's just what we talked about. So that's what I thought. Hannah's not actually his child. What did that wall ever do to you, girl? What is this? Huh? What aren't you telling me? What does it mean? What are these numbers? What's this? Where would you find this? You tell me. You tell me nothing. What's that? What's this? Yeah, what is it? You tell me like a machine and then you say I can do nothing. Why? It's because you are what they want. Why? Why do they want me? Yeah, explain things, sir! Stop! Why did you do that? It's lies, Anna. It's not. It's completely the truth. And if you really think she's gonna stop asking just because you told her not to. Oh, sir. Lucas was scared last night. Thank you. Smells of fear, like a fox that knows it's dying. There you go. That's why you need her. Anna, you coming with us? Come with us. Yay! Father daughter time. Trust me, you want Hannah with you. The girl's a robot. All y'all gonna die of cancer. Jeez. What do we do now? We wait. We wait. Hi. Okay. What do you want to ask them? Hey. There's an awful. Don't worry. If he's not here, I'll take care of that real quick. <clears> hmm. <throat> the teller. Where's Taylor? Shoot him. No, that's totally Taylor. You're about to kill him. And now you're just a big fat murderer. I hope someone filmed that. Did someone film it? Bye, you British bastard. 
Oh my god, the cardio required for this life. No man, not me. I'm a peaceful person. This is what he meant by the new jungle, Hannah. So much stimulus. Knock him over. That's right. You are too old for this life, sir. Time to quit. He was nice, at least he didn't kill you. I'm taking over this arrest. You thought, didn't you? You thought! Unfortunately, I know she's not gonna die here. As gratifying as that would be. Well, 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 that was an interesting episode. Things have come to an interesting place. That was City, and I really liked how they framed that, especially in terms of how it relates to Hannah, and also the fact that this city is the birth point, I guess you could say, of whatever started the journey between Eric and uh, Marissa. Yeah, it's, it's so interesting. I, I think this show, by the way, I, I'm really, really liking the pacing of it. They're doing such a good job of keeping things on this wonderful incline that we're going on to get close to the climax. We're not there yet, but I like that uh, almost halfway in, we kind of already have the stakes on the table. We're starting to get a little bit more of the story of how Eric ended up with Hannah. I pretty much said in the first episode, I think, that I didn't believe that he was actually Hannah's biological father, but I didn't know. You know, it, it was... <laughs> I didn't know the whole story. Maybe things could be different because I know that in the movie, Eric's character was not Hannah's biological father. He just took her from whatever situation was going on. And now we're seeing that that's, they are following through with that in the show as well. It's interesting to see that now we know a little bit more about how Eric got involved with Marissa in the first place and this company. I mean, obviously there had to be some linkage there for him to get access to Hannah in the first place. But uh, it's, it's interesting that we're seeing that he clearly started to have a bit of a conscience when it came to Hannah's mother. It looks like he spent the most time with her, maybe with the other women that he recruited for this program. It was kind of a, you know, meet them, get them to sign, hand them off. But for whatever reason, Hannah's mom got to him. And as a result, he wasn't able to just pull himself away from that detachment he had from her and then by extension to Hannah as well. So it kind of also explains why. So remember I was seeing, I think in episode one, that it was very strange to me that Eric only rescued Hannah. Like why not rescue the other children if he thought they were in such terrible danger? But sadly, outside of the fact that it was virtually impossible, obviously, um, this gives a little bit more of a framing around his emotional attachment to Aunt Hannah and why it was so important to get her out. Um, obviously, he also had her mom hold up somewhere, even though unfortunately she didn't make it. The other interesting theme, I think, in this story as well is seeing the relationship between Hannah and Eric get more and more complicated as more of his story is unfolding and more of Hannah. Like the fact that Hannah's out of the, the forest now, like we, we saw in episode one that she was already starting to grow out of her her box that Eric had put her in as far as the forest. You know, she was starting to get older and realize, hey, there's a world out there. I've never seen it. Like I, I deserve to see what else there is out there. But now that she's been... Now that she's been exposed to the world now and she's, especially I think her, her time with that family, the British family, I think really opened her up to recognizing that it's within her rights as a teenager and as a child even just to question things and to have questions and, and expect answers. I mean, Sophie was a bit much, like she has little to no respect for her family and for her parents, I should say, unfortunately, but she is right in the sense that Hannah is not... Eric's like, he's not, she's not like some soldier underneath his employ, right? She's not supposed to just take mindless orders from him because of that. Like, they're supposed to have a father-daughter relationship. It's only natural that as she's growing up and, and learning more about the world that she should have questions about like, who he is, what he did before she was born, why this whole situation is happening, right? Because she didn't know any different, right? Before she left the forest, she had no idea that no, no, you know, the rest of the world's teenagers didn't grow up with grueling military training from the second they could walk, right? She didn't realize you could just 
listen to music and dance and drink and do stupid stuff and make out with boys and all kinds of crazy stuff. Like, she just thought this was everyone's life. But now she's like, now nah, I've seen how the other half lives. How come my life has been like this? Like, what has happened that has made a situation where I'm running for my life, you're running for your life, we gotta murder someone, you're not answering my questions, I've got this page full of information about my DNA that no one can explain to me. Like, she's got very valid questions and Eric continuously thinking he can just dismiss it with a because I said so. Like, that works on a five-year-old. That does not work on a 15, 16-year-old, right? She's now got her own reasoning. She's got her own deduction skills. And unfortunately, every time that Eric defers his explanations and lies to her, he's basically stripping away just a little bit more of her trust in him, which is vital in this particular situation. But on the other side of that, we also see Eric's point in when he explained to her, I really love the, I, this, this show does a really good job with analogies. I actually have to say, I really like the way that they write them in the show. But when he talks to her and he says to her, like, you know, that she grew up in the forest. She understands how to deal with wild, uneven, unpredictable terrain of the forest, but she doesn't understand the city. The city is different and not just in its landscape, but Hannah's never learned how to navigate people. Not really. And it showed so much like when the when the people and his military friends were playing soccer and she was like, I don't understand the point of this game. Like, why are we doing this? Why would anyone spend time doing it? Like her social skills are so underdeveloped because she's only ever worked with her father who had the sole mission of turning her into, as she described, a machine. So now that she's in a city where it's not just, you know, landscape and terrain that she's got to deal with now, she's got to deal with people and the fact that people are dishonest and that people are sly and that people may be smarter than her father in some ways, right? I mean, obviously when it comes to strategy and stuff, probably not. Like, I love that line that, um, I can't remember the name, I think it's not Dieter, the other guy, one of the guys who said, like, no one should ever play chess with your father, right? Indicating that Eric is someone who thinks so far ahead. He is a strategist at heart. And uh, thankfully, that kind of helped him to always see. But even here, like, it's very interesting that even though he was right about Hannah not being able to navigate the city and people and the fact that there's so many more inputs and, and distractions to deal with, which we saw in that scene with her standing in front of the hotel, smokes going, sirens, screaming people, helicopters, like it was way more input than Hannah's ever had to deal with at any given time. However, Eric would not have realized that he'd been double-crossed until it was too late if it hadn't been for Hannah and her keen skills when it came to reading people. And again, I think I said two episodes, oh no, not two episodes ago, it's only been two. I think I said this in episode two that Hannah, the advantage she has is that even though she doesn't have the social, the, the normal social skills we're used to, the ones, the fact that she doesn't have it and didn't grow up with all those distractions actually makes her a better judge of character than pretty much any of us would be. I like that they're mixing a little bit of like what Eric is saying, which was very true, but also the fact that he's got to stop trying to keep the truth under wraps where Hannah's concerned. He's asking Hannah for blind trust, but he's now to the point where he's breaking his trust with her because he's not sharing everything. Now, of course, as I said in the episode, there are some things about his story he's not obligated to tell her, but he does have to give some answers. Like his former life is now impacting her current life. So I do think he needs to figure out the best way to tell her what truth he can about what he did and how they even got entangled. But I obviously, I think now we know that the biggest truth that he's trying to hide is that he's not Hannah's biological father. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching along with me. If you did, please go ahead and hit like on this video. And again, if you've been here before and you like what you see, please go ahead and hit subscribe so that you can see more videos like this and videos on this series itself. So thanks so much for watching guys. And until next time, see ya.